Hi all my JavaScript friends, this is the Virtuoid, aka Mike Smith, and this is video number one of our Devonport card game. Let's get the preliminaries out of the way. If you like this video, please click on the like button below, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel, or uh, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, I am so excited about this. We're going to actually finally create a game. We got our card classes, we've got our deck classes, now we can actually create a game. So before I go through the rules of this game, which I'm calling Devonport, this is one of my own creation, just a couple of housekeeping things. This is not going to cover our normal three videos that we've been doing before with all the classes. You know, the introduction, which is what this is, uh, the TDD, and then the classes. This is going to be a drawn out process that I don't know how many videos it could be. My guess is it's probably nine or ten videos where basically we're going to take small little sections of it and do the TDD and then do the code. TDD, code, TDD, code, until we actually get a game. And the reason for that is, is that this is going to be a very complex little game. It's, it's going to be very simple, as you'll see here in just a minute with the rules, but the, it's very complex within the code itself because not only we're we going to create the game where it can be run inside Node so we can do all our testing, but we're going to create it so it'll run in the browser. We're going to do our very first browser-based game. Man, I'm so excited. So with that out of the way, let's get to the rules. Okay, first of all, two to four players. Anything less is stupid. Anything more, we run out of cards. Each player then gets five cards. And then within each round, a player will eventually win a round, they lose a card. And so the first player to lose all five of their cards wins the game. So what happens within the round? Well, each person will put a lock card down on the table, which means basically taking a card out of their hand and putting it face down on the table. When the reveal happens, they reveal the cards and the high card wins with ace being the low card and the king being the high card. The winner doesn't pick up any more cards, but the people who don't win will then replace those cards with new cards off the deck. So first round, oh, for, first round through for four players, you'll have three people who will end up with five cards and one person will end up with four. So as you can tell, eventually somebody is going to go out. Now what happens if there's a tie? Then everybody still picks up. There's no winner. You win or everybody picks up another card. And play just keeps continuing until somebody doesn't have a card. And that's it. There's really nothing else to the game. We do have a couple of other option rules that we're not going to program at this particular time, and those are you can a player can take a card out of their deck, put it in the discard pile, and immediately draw another card to replace it. But if they do, they got to play that card immediately no matter what it is. That's called the replacement rule. Then there's also called the ace rule, and that is if people reveal all their cards and, you ha and, and a player reveals an ace, if the winner is a face card, then the winner picks up two cards while the ace doesn't pick up any. The ace basically wins. If no, if the winner is not a face card, then the ace picks up two cards. So it's kind of a double barrel shotgun type deal there. It kind of makes the ace just a little bit more exciting. Now, like I said, we're going to be programming those optional rules later on down the road. We're going to stick with the simple rules. So that's basically the rules of the game. So what are we going to cover next? Well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some test driven development on the round section itself and nothing else. So we're going to fake deal five cards out to each player and then we're going to run a round and we're going to ensure that the logic for the round works. That's the very first thing we're going to do. So we'll do the TDD for that. We'll do the in video number two and in video number three, we're going to do the actual code for, for running that. And we'll, we'll run it in node. We're not going to do the browser part there. Probably video number four at that point, we'll then expand it to do the game itself. So we'll run through an entire game. So we'll do the TDD for that. And then the video there for Node, that would be videos number four and number five. Uh, probably number six at this, number six then will most likely be the start of the browser part of the game. And I'm not sure exactly what that's going to involve. So that could go for two more videos or I can go for four more videos or maybe five more videos. I'm not sure. But eventually we will have that game wrapped up, ready to go, ready for you to share with all your friends and family. That's basically what we're going to be looking for here, what we're going to be doing. So our very next video is going to be the TDD video for the round. Hey, thank you so very much for watching our video. I, I hope you're going to have as much fun with this as I will. If you like this video, click on the like button below. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel or please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. 
And again, thank you so very much for watching. This is the Virtuoid, aka Mike Smith, and we'll catch you on the next video.